Hi, I'm Paul Kesslin, multiplayer producer here at DICE, working on Star Wars Battlefront 2, and this is Galactic Assault on Naboo. Walker Assault in Star Wars Battlefront, the kind of next evolution that we had of, of that game mode is Galactic Assault. They're, they're both 20v20 game modes. This time around, we learned a lot from Walker Assault. In the first game, we saw a lot of people really responded to the kind of narrative storytelling that happened as a, as a nice recreation of the Battle, on, Battle of Hoth, uh, in our, you know, our own interpretation of it in the first game. And we saw that uh, players really responded to that scenario specifically, and we started thinking about how do we expand on that, that concept of these iconic battles that happen in places that people are familiar with, uh, and give people a bit, again, of that kind of slight narrative context throughout a game mode. Um, so here in Naboo, it's, it's very, very much the expectation that, you know, at one point Naboo was under siege, and now you can kind of get a feeling for what that could have been like. On the clone side of things, you'll be able to get access to the ATRT, which is it acts as a really good anti-vehicle. It's, you know, it's short, it's mobile, uh, can move fairly quickly, but it's meant to try to take down that tank. So you can imagine squads of those trying to, to go battle against the tank. Through the battle point system, you'll be able to access these things just like you would uh, the Wookiee Warrior or a, a B2 Super Battle Droid. Uh, or if, if you wanted to, expanding on vehicles, there are starfighters available that you can have on this map. So you can kind of have that, that, uh, that trinity of air, ground, and then troopers as well. Naboo has its, uh, a section where it's uh, very open, so there's a lot more open air gameplay. And then when you get inside the palace, there's a lot more close quarter combat, and it's a lot uh, more hectic there. But the intent is to not always be super intense everywhere, but have the, a good amount of intensity um, uh, in all locations. So we, we don't, we'd prefer to not have meat grinders as much as possible. So some places will allow for that naturally due to the, you know, going back to the, the Star Wars um, uh, authenticity that we have in some of these places, that's just how they're built because they're not built for combat, right? Uh, so that is a challenge that we work around in, in some places, but we try to find ways to balance against that. In the open beta, you'll have access to four heroes. We have uh, Han and Rey on the uh, on one side, and we have uh, Boba Fett and Darth Maul on the other side. So Rey is somebody that uh, we, we see people, uh, she's a bit more tactical. So you people with Darth Maul understand that, okay, he's, he's a brawler, he's gonna get in there and fight. Ray's a bit more tactical. You know, she has abilities that allow her and her allies to, to try to work a bit more well together. So she, you don't play her the same way. Just because she has a lightsaber doesn't 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 mean you need to run in and try to just hack everybody with it. You know, she's she's weak herself, but she's able to uh, again bring things to the table and just try to enable the team a bit more than just doing everything yourself. So people that have figured that out and play her a bit more conservatively are really effective with her. Well, that was a sneak peek at Galactic Assault on Naboo. I hope everybody enjoys it, and we'll see you out there in the open beta. PlayStation.